Hello everyone, I'm Sir JC and you are watching Research Made Easy. For today's episode, we are about to discuss the research process. There are seven key stages in the research process. Let's discuss them one by one. The step one from the research process is defining the research problem. It answers the question, what is the problem? Finding an issue or formulating a research question is the first step in the research process. Then, you have to understand the overview or the background of the chosen problem, understand the variables included, and knowing the purpose, objective, and intention of your chosen study. A well-defined research problem will guide you as researchers through all the stages of the research process, starting from the setting of your objectives up to choosing your technique. The second step is review of related literature. It answers the question, what evidence is already presented? Step two is the search for facts and evidences conducted by previous researches. Because you have to study what is known and what are still unknown from your chosen topic. You have to determine the gap or block spot from your study. And you have to focus on that gap or what is still unknown. Step 2 enables the researchers to identify the precise aspects of the problem. Once a problem has been found, the investigator or researcher needs to find out more about it. It teaches the investigator about the previous research, how they were conducted, and its conclusions. The researcher can now build consistency between his work and others through a literature review. Such a review exposes the researcher to a more significant body of knowledge and helps him or her follow the research process efficiently. Step 3. Formulating Hypothesis It answers the question, what logical belief will solve the problem? In Step 3, you have to create an intellectual guess on the possible outcomes. It is important for researchers to keep in mind while formulating a hypothesis that it must be based on the research topic. Step 4. The research design. It answers the question, how will you conduct the research study? Moreover, it anchors the participants or the respondents. How did you choose the respondents? Where is the setting? And what method will you use? Research design is the plan for achieving objectives and answering research questions. It outlines how to get the relevant information. Its main goal is to design research in testing hypotheses, addressing the research questions, and providing decision-making insights. Step 5 is the collecting data. It answers the question, are we ready to gather the data? Step 5 is the actual conduct of gathering the data to respondents in a form of interview, immersion, survey, and etc. It is the manner of obtaining the knowledge or information required to answer the research questions. Step 6. Analyzing data. It answers the question, how do the data answer the research queries? It anchors the treatment to be used after the data collection. It ensures that the data collected will answer the research questions after its analyzation. Data analysis involves a number of closely related stages, such as setting up categories, applying these categories to raw data through coding and tabulation, and then drawing statistical conclusions. The researcher can examine the acquired data using a variety of statistical and non-statistical methods. Lastly, Step 7. Interpret and Report It answers the questions, what are the implications of the results? This particular stage draw conclusion and recommendation. It generalizes the result and outcome. Moreover, it requires presentation and sharing of findings through research colloquium and research defense. And that's it for today's video about the research process. I hope you learned a lot. See you in our next video.